Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up this evening? Welcome back to the one and only Kiss God Radio, right here on LoveRadioNetwork.com. Love is where it's at. Y'all, I'm Pastor P, and you're in the place to be for the next 30 minutes of your evening. I'm telling you right now, I got some good things in store for you this evening. So why don't you why don't you let somebody know we're on tonight? Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. We're going to do it right. I'm telling you, I'm going to inspire you, motivate you. And I believe by the message that I give you this evening will change the trajectory of your life. So go ahead and uh, get a pad, get a pencil, get your tablets, whatever you need to get that will be able to help you to remember what I'm going to say. And I want you to remember not to forget to download LoveRadioNetwork.com app and take love on a go. Tell me, would you love to fall in love 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day? You can fall in love. We got music just for you. We got (laughs) TV shows just for you. We got movies just for you. So we are really coming at you with sight and sound. So you can hear us 24 hours a day. You can see us 24 hours a day. So come on and fall in love. And go ahead and download that app. Get your fire stick and enjoy the flicks. That's on LoveRadioNetwork.com. I'm telling you the best station in the nation online. We are moving and growing. We are growing and we are making sure that we come at you the right way. And we thank you for your feedback. We thank you for your comments. You know, we wouldn't be without you. So we thank you. We love you. And we honor you for your support. So tonight, y'all, we're going to dive in for every single on this call. And, and I'm going to say it. Thank you for the married folks that are also on the call um, or on the line. I want to thank you marriage folks, married folks that uh, are getting something from this. Uh, Kiss God will soon be doing Kiss God marriages, my wife and I. And so that is really going to be something. Are we taking our time? Are we going to do it right? Hey, y'all, listen, I got something to say. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for this platform. Lord God, that is helping others to grow as they go. Grant me the tongue of the learn. Help me to speak right into the heart. Father, cause it to just allow them to marinate, to dwell on it. And we thank you that we will not get off this platform the same way that we got on, but with more of you and less of ourselves. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, singles, once again, this is Pastor P, and I want to thank you for being with me. Now, I got something that I'm doing every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m., and I want you to be a part of it. It's called The Path. The Path, P-A-T-H, which simply means pursue all things heavenly. Um, I believe that it would... uh, Bless you to be on that call on Tuesday morning. So you can dial in to 302-202-1110. And the code is 705-257. Once again, on Tuesday mornings, the path. Um, go ahead and dial in. 302-202-1110. And the code is 705-257. I'm telling you the principles, the nuggets that you will get to help you to start your day. And I'm telling you, it will help you start your day, but it will propel you into your life. Everything that I say will give you strength. It will help you to think. It will help you to change some things, start some things, stop some things, whatever it is. But come on and join us, the path. I'm really looking forward for it to grow. Um, 
And I'm excited about what God has given me just for you. All right. Now, singles, we've been talking about um, the spirit of singleness and or, or the spirit of singleness, the spirit of excellence and singleness. So I wanted to, I want to share something with you. I'm not going to take you to a text or a verse of scripture tonight. I'm going to do something different. And um, you, you heard this before. Um, you heard this before, but I want to um, share it with you. And this will probably uh, help me to take you into where I'm going. I'm going to read this from Shakespeare. All right? There's a quote from Shakespeare that many of us have heard. And it says, to thy own self be true. To thy own self be true. Now, that that particular um, quote, again, came from Shakespeare play Hamlet. And, and it was spoken by King, King Claudius. Um, it was a part of a speech that uh, his chief minister was uh, given his son. Uh, and it was a blessing and advice on how to behave while at university. To thy own self, be true. You know what? I'm, I'm finding out that sometimes that's like one of the most difficult things to do. To thy own self, be true. And I, and I believe that um, the reason why we have a problem in that that quote is because we are involved in comparison that we compare ourselves to others thus we cannot be true to ourselves a lot of times i don't think that we even give ourselves a chance to be true it's like we're afraid of what's out there or we are afraid of what's in there. We don't want it to come out. But we don't know how people will react or respond to it. And who cares? To thy own self. Be true. So a lot of times as I talk to singles. And um, I'm, I'm finding more and more that have been in and out of relationships, you know. They they could be they could have been in a relationship for six months six years. Um, there was no proposal. Then the relationship uh, ceased. They broke up, and then in two months, there's a proposal. Okay, that that can hurt. Yeah, I get it. That that get that can hurt. Yeah, I was with you all this time. And how is there going to be a proposal? And, and and I helped you through this. You told me you love me. You know, all of this. And then there's a proposal. What was wrong with me? Now, male or female, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. Male or female. You start to say, what was wrong with me? You know, what, you know, was I light enough? Was I dark enough? Was I too small? Was I too heavy? Was I not tall enough? Did I not make enough money? Comparison. So you, you, you start to now look on the outside instead of accepting who you are. And then you start to go through changes. And, you know, I know somebody's saying, no, that, that ain't me. That, that, that's, I, I don't do that. I don't care. They don't like me. They don't like me. I'm just who I am. All right. All right. I got that. You know. Because what, what, what happens is we begin to look at ourselves in the mirror. We see what others are doing. And so now we do it, whether it's the change of the hair, whether it's to slim the body down, whether it's to talk a certain way, whether it's to want to fit in, you know, instead of standing out. Right. But we start this comparison. You know, I've been I've been through that, you know, um, because there was there was a time I didn't like me. I didn't like who I was. Um, and so I didn't like who I was. So therefore, I tried to be others. And I never knew who Paul was. Right. So I know how that feels. I know how that feels. 
um, you know, when I was in uh, uh, junior high school, you know, it was just it was just the three of us, me and my other two boys, and um, you know, all the girls seemed to be after this, you know, my my one of my best friends, and I was like, hey, what's wrong with me? Like, why why they not after me? <laughs> You know, I want the, I want them to be after me too. <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm trying to do everything to change to be like him. And uh, you know, while, while while I'm doing that, I'm losing who, who who I was losing who I was. I was I was losing and not using the gift inside of me. If I, if I just allow the Paul to come out, and when he did. Lord have mercy. But the but the problem was it took me so long to enjoy me. It took me so long, y'all. Try, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. This this right here is like positive psychology, you know, and it's just learning and accepting. You know what I want to do? Let me let me let me do this. I, I want to re- I want to read something to you. I want to read something to you because I believe once you choose to open up your, your your intuitive gifts, that's when you will begin to hear insights that are meant specifically for you. But if you don't open up your intuitive gifts, it's like you shut yourself down. You are gifted. You are talented. You are unique. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? If that cat don't like you, so what? If that girl... <laughs> If that girl don't like you, so what? Be you. And whatever God wants to do in you and through you, let him do it. Let God do it. Whatever needs to change, I don't care if it's from your DNA. I don't care if it's something that you picked up. Let God do the changing. But don't you change yourself because somebody wants you to be somebody else. You can go jump in the lake. I don't care who you are. I'm not changing who I am for you. I change who I am for God because God is making the change. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. You will become who God wills you to be. And you know, sometimes married couples get married and they still don't even know each other because they still have they still hiding who they are. Let the you come out, will you? Please. Let the real you stand up. I mean, the first thing you have to do, y'all, you you have to show up for yourself. Don't show up for him or show up for her. Show up for yourself. You gotta love who you are, right? Love who you are. Be who you are. Now, I'm not talking about you being a wicked, nasty son of a bee. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you being just who God made you to be. If you if you like your mother, you like your mother. If you like your father, you like your father. That's your DNA. Now, there's certain, certain things that you might not like the way your daddy was. You might not like the way your mama was. You might, or is, or was, or you might not like. The way your brothers and you like, just like I don't, I don't want to be like that. Then what you do, you develop, you do, you have character development. I mean, you start working on some ways, but you, you're dealing with you. It's not because you were trying to fit into a certain relationship, a certain mold. So let me go back. So I do understand where where people can get hurt, and it's painful if they jump out of a relationship. Just because they're looking for something and that person wasn't it. I get it. I get it. But let me tell you something. If somebody if somebody did that to you, move on. Don't try to go get the hair. Don't try to go get the hips. Don't try to go get the breasts. Don't 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 now shave your head and and and, and just start not liking you. Because they didn't accept who you are. No. Be true. To thyself. Are you with me? Be true.
be true. Be true to you, to thine own self. Be true. All right, all right let me read this to you. I'm going to read this to you. It's up to, it's up to us to know the wisdom within us. So this is something that no one else can teach us. We must first be our own self. We must be our own guiding light. There is no competition with another. Any other thoughts of competition come from the false self. And this belief lies in the place that holds the belief that you are not enough. You got it? That's why you compare. Because you feel you're not enough. If you are the belief that you are not enough, then you look at others and believe that they are more than you. Doing it better than you, more gifted than you, more talented than you. And you know what? This leads to competition with them. But that competition, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. That competition is one in which you are really against yourself. You, you you heard that when you when when you start thinking that you're not you you're not good enough and 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 <laughs> you know they just look better they doing better more talented whatever you know that leads to competition aggravation that can destroy your relationship and that competition again is one in which you are against yourself. Now, 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 now. This is so important. This is, this is so important. So important. What time is it? All right. I got a little bit more time. Chuck, you should, Ch Charlie Rock, you, you should let me go to nine o'clock. You really should. No, I'm just kidding. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. But I, I got so much to say. Um, what was I getting ready to say? All right. So, you see, you see, there, there, there is nothing. Let me really speak to you singles. I'm, I'm going to say it just like this. Whether you agree with me or not, I'm going to say it. There is nothing and there is no one better than you. And that is because there is only one you. There's nothing and no one better than you. There's only one you. There's no comparison. You've got your gifts, your unique, special gifts. God brought you here to share those gifts. And your singleness is a gift. I don't care if it didn't work. I don't care if you are, you, you, it, you're single, you're waiting. I got you. Worship, wait, win. That's Kiss God's slogan. Worship, wait, win. Win. You win while you're single. And you want to win if you decide to get married. You don't rush it. I want you to find you first. Com be completed in you now. Because nobody's coming into your life and complete you. Get out of here. Be completed now. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? All right, all right, all right. And listen, because I want to give you some. I want to give you some homework tonight. I want you to try something. Um, I want you to. I want you to remember the Bible says in John ten and ten. All right, it starts off with uh, the enemy is coming to steal, kill, and destroy. All right, that's what the devil wants to do to you. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to start in your mind. Right. He wants to distract you. He wants to cause you to compete against. Everything and everybody and makes you feel that you're not enough. Okay. But 
the Bible says that I've come that you have life and you have it what more abundantly. So I want you to be in abundance. There, there, there is more than enough for everyone. Everyone has the potential to tap into their abundance. Everyone. And, and when you do not feel worthy, you will fill your internal holes with, with external fillers. You got it? When you do not feel worthy, you will fill your internal holes with external fillers. And doing so, it dulls your light. It literally dulls who you really are. And and some do this. Listen to me. Listen to me. When people start comparing and they feel that they're, they're not worthy enough, they're not good enough, you know, they start drowning themselves in alcohol, drugs, food, TV, and God help, social media. That is the worst comparison in the world. I ain't even start calling the type of social media, whatever, whatever you want. That's the worst comparison. That is the worst. Looking at the bodies, looking at how they sound, looking at how they preach, looking at how many members they got, how many followers they got. All this stuff. Stop comparing. Why can't I? Why can't I? You could write. You might as well write a song. Why can't I? Come on now. Let me tell you something. You start to numb your own truth. You know why? Because you're not giving yourself a chance and an opportunity. And this is a false belief that 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 touching your truth will be painful. And you hold this belief because you do not know the true self within. And I'm telling you tonight. Give yourself a chance, my brother. I need you to give yourself a chance. Are you hearing me, my sister? I, I, because this is a part of being a single that's walking in the spirit of excellence. Are, 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 are you with me? Are you with, this is so important. This is so important to thine own self. Be true. That's the best thing that we can give our children. That's the best thing you could tell me. I got it sound like a scripture, you know, I mean, I, I can find several scriptures that can relate to it. But this is from Hamlet, from Shakespeare. That I know himself. Be true. Because this, when you find yourself, the, the true self lives inside your heart. This is one, this, this one is the truth of the true you that lies in you. This one is protected from pain by limited beliefs. And therefore, it cannot easily be touched. Now, now let me say this before I end this. Let me say this. I'm, I'm, I'm telling I'm, I'm getting ready like, like I really want to just start talking like freelance. Like all of your gifts, all of your gifts that's on the inside of you, they're waiting for you and they're waiting to be awakened. They, they, they are ready to evolve. They are ready to become. They are ready to begin to live. They, they are ready to, to literally value and, and, and you start to cherish yourself. I'm talking to you here. I'm telling you, you're going to really need to go back and listen to this over. I'm talking, I'm talking true you here. Because the true self inside of you is a beacon of light. Right. Much like a, 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 what do you call that thing? Uh, a rudder that's designed to hold you steady in the storm. You, you got, the, you got that, 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 that beacon of light that's ready to come out. Come on. Step up. You got to. Step up and become the captain of your ship. It's up to you. In the now. To get back in the driver's seat of your life. Too many people have controlled your life. Too many people told you what to do. And too many people's opinion of you have, have, have put you on the wrong path. Ah, get back in that seat. Get back in that driver's seat. Let's go. And to not be afraid of the pain. 
because the pain of going through healing is not worse than the trauma you have already survived. Be the light that you are. Come on the journey of, 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 of the exploration of self-care, God's care, and let's find the hidden treasures that you are. Are, are you with me? And, and, and they reside in you. Let's, let's awaken. Let's awaken your true potential, singles. Let's awaken your, 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 your true calling, singles. Let's go. We can do this. Now, now, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to do something. I want you to do something and I'm done. I want you to do something. It's called, it's called CT3. CT3. It's really commit to three. Commit to three. And this is what I want you to do. And this is really going to help you out. I want you to understand this. Commit to three. It's spirit, mind, and body every day. Spirit, mind, and body. I need you to commit to your spirit, the deep contacting the deep. I need you for your spirit to connect to the spirit of God every day. I need you to connect to your mind. I need you to feed your mind. I need you to train your mind how to think. And I need you to be committed to your body, eating right and exercising. Are you understanding me? Because this becomes the framework of your healing practice. You got it? Are you, are you on it? Because you know why you're doing when you CT three. When you commit to three. You're committing to yourself. You're starting to love yourself. Are, 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 you, are you getting it? That's the spirit, mind and the body. I'm going to check on you next week. And I want you to come back because I'm going to talk about CT3. Committed to three. Because this is a powerful healing ability. And this can start to be transformative within you. Enable you to get in touch with yourself, the true essence of who you are. Because number one, you're connecting to God. Then you're connecting to your mind. And then you're taking care of your body. But you're starting with the worship. Amen. Y'all, my time is up and I thank you for yours. This is so good, isn't it? I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. Charlie Rock, you should come on and kiss God with me, man, so we can go back and forth and we can share share some nuggets together, man. All right, listen, y'all. I got to go, but I want you to pray for me as I pray for you. Singles, I believe in you. I believe in you. Don't compare yourself to nobody. You are who you are. You are God's chosen vessel. God bless you. Heaven smiled upon you. I pray that you go in peace and may your peace be multiplied. Charlie Rock, let's do it right. Take us to the bridge.